Good evening. It is 6.30 p.m. It's February the 12th. We are located at uh, 201 Lindenwood. This is the business committee meeting. Mr. Molina. Um, I'd like to take a minute to uh, pay my respect to Mr. Suning and his family. You know, my deepest sympathy from the Molina family and our United family. Sorry. Thank you. Item eight, number one, approval of uh, monthly disbursements. Yes. Good evening, Ms. Molina, Ms. Rodriguez. The Division of Finance uh, presented you with the disbursements for the month of, of January. I don't know if you have any questions at this point. No, sir. Number two, approval of the budget amendment. Yes, sir. We have one budget amendment. Um, it's actually BA 1902. This was a donation that was given to the district by Line Decker Construction of Texas. It totaled one hundred thousand dollars. Seventy-five thousand is going to the Elementary Stream Program, and twenty-five thousand is going to the Partners for Scholars. No effect on fund balance. We're recognizing the donation and we're appropriating the expenditures. Thank you, Mr. Line Decker. Yes. Uh, item number three: approval of property taxes refund for the month of January 2019. Good evening, Mr. Molina, Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Santos, members of the audience. I bring to you the tax refunds for the month of January. We had a refund over 500 uh, from Falcon National Bank for the amount of $1,342.10. It's an erroneous payment. However, there's no loss of revenue to the district. The account is paid in full. Thank you. Thank you. Item number four, approval of award bids, proposals, and qualifications. Good evening, members of the board. Uh, the administration has the following recommendations for your consideration. RFP 2018-068, Middle School Educational Online Program. The recommended vendor is IXL Learning. RFP 2018-067, District-wide Termite uh, Control Services to ASASH Termite and Pest Control. RFP 2018-069, Remediation Services Recommended vendor is ServPro of North Laredo. We also have five renewals for your consideration. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. Number five, approval of request of board members uh, discretionary funds for various companies. <coughs> Mr. Rodriguez, uh, other, there are no other requests other than the ones that are uh, in your packet at this point. Number 11, approval of sale and salvage furniture and equipment. Oh. Good evening, Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Molina, Mr. Santos, members of the audience. At this time, we bring before you uh, the request for approval of the sale of salvage furniture and equipment uh, acquired district-wide from uh, different campuses and departments, including uh, salvage computers, furniture, uh, some vehicles, some buses. Uh, with your approval, we plan to have an auction uh, later in March. Uh, right now, if, again, with your approval, we're uh, thinking about March 23rd. March 23rd. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Item B, number one, Finance Division Monthly Financial Report. Good evening, Mr. Rodriguez, Mr. Molina, members of the audience. Uh, we're bringing to you our superintendent's monthly financial report as of January 31st. You'll see that our cash and investment balance was $228,050,590. The bulk of that is in our general fund, $160 million, and the rest is broken down. Debt service fund, $29.9 million, and about $30, $34 million of, of our uh, bond money. 17% uh, of total portfolio was in demand accounts. Our yields were 2.36. Our current pool rate was 2.51%. Our administrative cost ratio was 8.55. We budgeted 8.10. Uh, financial report, our unaudited statements show that actual to date is 218.9 million, 16.18% uh, of our budget. Uh, last year at this time we were at 68.87. 
Uh, Year-to-date expenditures, 178.3 million. Uh, currently, it's 46.17% of our budget. And uh, prior year, this time, we're at 46.42, so we're on track right there as well. Tax office report, current collection rate, 78.69 as of January 31st. The amount was 166,968,123. To date, we have 93.85%. The Lincoln collection rate, 53.26%, uh, 3,194,444 collected. Uh, to date, we have 58.01%. The current collection rate last year was at 85.99. And the, the delinquent collection rate was at 4236 The report also included all the bids and propos proposals awarded through January 31st. And then there's a section of the grants department, uh, all the grants that have been reviewed, submitted, negotiated, amended uh, through the grant department. I don't know if anybody has any specific questions. Thank you, ma'am. Number two, 2018 delinquent personal property turned over to the attorneys to process tax warrants and seizures. Yes, um, good, up, good evening. Um, we are turning in the 2018 personal property accounts to the delinquent tax attorneys for, tax, for collections, tax warrants, and seizures. Uh, we're, for, we're to, uh, it's going to be a total of 2,389 accounts and the sum up totals um, $1,907,265.32. And Mr. Um, Alarcón from the, from the firm of Alarcón and Science is here to receive these funds, I mean, these accounts to be collected. <laughs> okay. Do you have any this questions? Is, this will be done by the Sheriff's Office, right, to do the collections, right? Like it used to be before. Okay. okay. No, thank you. Thank you. Number three, 2019 2020 budget update. <clears throat> what, what I wanted to share with the board really our budget update. Uh, we've had budget meetings, uh, we've actually had staffing meetings with our elementary schools. We're running the numbers for our middle schools and high schools. But I think the main thing about this budget year is the legislative session that's going on. And I have to commend Emma Lissa for this calendar, how she broke it out for, and she presented to the administrators today. Because everything that they're going to do in Austin this spring is going to affect both instruction and our money situation. So the first day of the session was January 8th. Uh, they have uh, till March 8th, which is about another month to file bills. Uh, they adjourn May 27, and we are about four months away from June 16, when the governor can veto or accept the bills that will get passed. And so I think between uh, the instructional uh, departments and finance departments, we are keeping an eye on our areas. Uh, just to let you know, the, the governor, when he had a state of the state address, on February 5th, which was just last Tuesday, he talked about six main items that he wanted the legislatures to take care of. He talked about school finance. He talked about increasing teacher pay. He talked about school safety, Texas mental health care, property tax reform, and disaster preparedness and recovery. As you can see, three of those things really hit close to home here with us, the school finance, increasing teacher pay, and school safety. So we'll keep an eye and we'll see if our legislators keep their promises uh, that they've been talking about, right? So uh, this was just to give you a little background. Again, we are doing the administration part. We're doing our staffing meetings. Uh, Mr. Gatzada started his uh, boundary meetings with the parents that are being affected by the proposed boundaries. And then we'll just keep going forward. Uh, they can finish June 16th, but guess what? Those kids will show up in August no matter what they do in Austin. So we'll be ready for them. So uh, I don't we know haven't gotten it. any news of how it's going to affect us, no, besides sure. the teacher's pay. And no. no. Nothing specific. We just yeah. sit back and wait. Yes. yes. That's kind of, yeah. We so just, more we or less, doing our stuff May the 27th, here. we should know something then. I think as we get closer, uh, after March 8th, when the bills stop being filed, they really start eliminating those that will not go through. And so you start narrowing down, okay, what are they really looking at, you know? 
are they really going to give us money for our third graders? Are they going to give us money for dyslexia? I mean, do we really start seeing what's really going to stick? So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But that you know, that's kind of our timeline for the for the next couple of months. So. Anyway, I know. Did that mean Mr. Santos, uh, Mr. Mo is going to give us good news this year? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, after 23 no. years? Yeah. I hope so. I hope yeah. so, too. Every I time I see so. him, I said, every time I see you, you give us bad news. Yes. When are you going to give us uh, good news? <clears throat> and he, go, he said, well, I don't know. And Whatever the state. After 23 years, he, he never, I said, we pay you all the way to come over here. <laughs> Just call us and tell us, you're not going to get anything. <laughs> So this year, I, I hope that we get it. Uh, finally, the, the so. state gives us some money we need, we need to finance uh, education. Yes. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you, Mr. Thank Thank you. you. Item number four: review updates. One twelve. Legal policies. Yeah, basically, what it is is just the legal policies that are there for review. I mean, that's state law. We got to follow the majority, basically, or moving from one policy to another. So it's really just just the legal policies that are listed. So replacement of policies going to another. Then number five is floating is I think at this point in time we like to table that, which is safe routes uh, to school grants. Okay. We want to table that. Number five will be tabled. Uh, public comments. No, no public comments. No, sir. I just uh, like to uh, before we leave. Uh, I like uh, I told Lyra and I told Ms. Garcia, and, but I haven't had the chance to tell all of you how proud I am of United. You know, we went to San Antonio, and. Uh, you all shine like you wouldn't believe. Everybody was amazed with the work that you all do, you know, and uh, the way United performed. You know, it was amazing. Out of 47 districts, you know, they couldn't top United. But, you know, like I, like I told Light and I, I told other people, you know, uh, we take the credit, but really the credit is yours. Because you're the one that every day go out there and, and work for us and educate our kids and have our programs up to date. And I can't thank you enough, or enough times, you know, for the hard work that you do. And uh, it really brought a lot of pride to me. And uh, after 23 years here in the, the district, you know, I'm prouder than ever of all of you. Thank you. I love you. I want to thank you, Mr. Elias. But, uh, but again, at the end of the day, it's really the support that we get from all seven board members to be able to do things that we need to do to, to get United yeah, it's a, at, Like I said, it's, it's a team group, of eight. Family. But, all of you, without all of you, Absolutely. we're yeah. nobody. Yeah, it trickles so down from I you. just want you to know that Appreciate we it. love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Motion to adjourn. Thank you.